What's up you guys? You really cannot make this kind of stuff up. That's why I left it right here. Father accused of having son go get gun from car doing student fight on school grounds. What is your grown butt doing on the school grounds? And why can't you allow your child to handle disputes without always fighting? I taught my kids, you don't have to use your hands. If you can't talk to the person and they want to sit there and act silly, don't deal with them. Just leave them alone. And people are like, uh, oh, but I'm not no punk. Well, guess what? You could call me a punk all day, but I guarantee you, I'm going to walk away and still be living. And I'm not going to be a victim of you shooting me or stabbing me or dismembering me or, or uh, you know, causing me to have a, a crippling disability. You get it? So let's go with this story. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. A Pompano, yeah, Pompano Beach man is legal in legal trouble after he and his son were on campus during a student fight and the son went and retrieved his dad's gun from the car according to the arrest report. So you were gonna shoot a kid or encourage your child to shoot someone that was gonna affect him for the rest of his life because maybe the son got his butt kicked or dad did you get your butt kicked? Which one was it? Which one was it? Wow. Talking about immature and stupid. Terry Loray, 39, was picking up his son after football practice at Monarch High School in Coconut Creek when the fight broke out. He told his son to go to the car, but the boy returned with a gun to break up the brawl, the report stated. It happened <clears throat> on April the 21st. <clears throat> Excuse me. At 5050 Wilds Road. At LaRae's first court appearance Wednesday, defense attorney John James called it a case of self-defense. Okay, but still, if they're fighting, why would you need a gun if they're using fists? This is what I'm saying. You're going to make a permanent decision on somebody's life. LaRae never said that he mentioned to the son to grab a firearm, just that the son brought it back. James told the judge, obviously, the son was in fear. Broward Assistant State Attorney Eric Linder countered that the father and son could have just walked away. Okay, yeah, that's true too. That's true too. But if they came after him and kept pouncing on him, then that's a different story. We don't know. We don't know. So I hope I can follow this story. There's nothing to indicate that Mr. Uh, Larray couldn't have just joined joined his son and left the scene to all together he said the fact that he had his son bring the gun back to the location this was not an act of self-defense james argued that <clears throat> there was nothing in the police report indicating larray actually told his son to go get the gun and if he didn't say it then you can't really put words in his mouth either which is very very true um, nothing in the probable cause statement says that he said. It says LeRae was standing in a group of kids trying to get them to stop fighting, trying to de-escalate the issue. Linda said there was <clears throat> no proof anyone else in the crowd was arrested, I mean was armed, and LeRae was the one who introduced the firearm into, his, into the situation. LeRae was charged with possession of a firearm on school property and contributing to the dis delinquency of a minor. <clears throat> he was released from the Broward County Jail Wednesday on $2,000 bond. LeRae and his attorney declined to comment on the case Thursday. So, if they were fighting, <clears throat> I don't think that the father should have, if he did, I don't think that he should have encouraged his son to go get a gun. That right there, I don't think that it is. It, it, it was good for him to do that because other people were fighting. Sometimes you simply just have to let people do what they want to do. 
because whether you think that it's the right thing to do or not some people don't have that same mindset that you have to want to have something de-escalated they want to continue they want to fight they want to get it out and so being that said you shouldn't have done that so i'm gonna wait and see how this story uh plays itself out and so you guys like i said be careful and my husband has a saying if you mind your own you'll live long meaning stay out of folks business because you can become a statistic trying to be a superhero okay look out for your family take care of yourself watch out for yourself be safe and i'll talk to you guys in the next video don't forget to hit that like button that post notification bell that subscription button you guys and i will talk to you later and don't forget to leave your comments below